Hey there YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you the performance of a Google Chromecast using the DirecTV website. Uh, some of you may know that DirecTV allows you to watch a lot of your shows online. Um, for example, alright, we're going to watch some Food Network just because. I'm running this on a i7 with a Sorry. RAM. Sorry. Elbow. All right, let's quiet that down. So you'll see the video plays pretty flawlessly on my computer. No real problems with stuttering or anything. Color is a little off on this phone, but it looks fine on my monitor. So you'll see. So that's the example of on the computer. Now let's stream it to the Chromecast. Alright, All right, and here's the Chromecast playing. with the computer monitor set to 720p and my TV is actually 1080p so it is watchable at 720p on the computer Okay, and here's the computer at 1080p. I set the monitor resolution to 1080p. Alright, now let's cast it. Wait for it to buffer. Alright, now let's cast it. And go full screen. Full tab, I should say. It's actually pretty good. Now let's close the tab on the computer. Or close the window on the computer. And you'll see that it actually stops casting. So it's pretty nice because you can watch TV and then when you want to change the channel, you can actually see your mouse, though there's a lot of lag in the mouse. Close that. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I didn't want to pay for another receiver because I rarely use the TV in the bedroom. Ah, beach volleyball, that'll be high motion. And watch that. Ignore the whining dog. So the performance is actually pretty impressive. And if you want that bar to go away, you just gotta move your mouse away from the thing and click. It should go away. There we go. 
Here's an example of motion on the Chromecast. The PC is going through wired Ethernet, it's going through a router, and then going to the Chromecast over wireless AC, the 5 gigahertz band of wireless AC that is, it's a AC1750 router, it's a TP-Link Archer C7. So there you have it.